There are two parshios of Amalek, one in Beshalach, we're going to read that on Purim Hashem, and one we just read a few hours ago at the end of Parshas Ki And the difference between the two parshios is very obvious. Whereas in the parsha of Bishalach, it says milchama. In Kitetse, the word milchama doesn't appear at all. It's just zachar and timcha. Zachar in grammatical Hebrew means an ongoing remembrance, constant awareness. Why is there an emphasis here on a constant remembrance of Amalek? Ramosha Salavechik was famous for saying that the mitzvah of Mechia Samolik in the Ramam seems to apply every generation. There are no exceptions. Even if we cannot identify genealogically an Amaleki, nevertheless, the mitzvah of Mechia applies when this Amaleki declares that he wants to destroy the Jewish people. That's his plan. We see in history, and even currently, that one man, one Stalin, one Haman, and one leader of a major country could wreck the entire world, and especially the Jewish world. And this is what Mechia Samolik is all about. Melchama, Yibichalach, that's appropriate for Purim, when we went out to battle against Amalek. And the Megillah records how many of the Amalekim as a nation we destroyed. But on an individual level, we have a mix of Mechia Samolik. And the purpose of that mitzvah is to remind us always that is a danger of Amalek, even one single individual. The Pasuk says, Va'ir Shushan Novocha. Why the word Novocha? Rav Salavechik told us that Novocha means not a sense of confusion, but a sense of awakening out of a naive state. We believe that we live in a social society that's sensitive a pluralistic society like that of Shuchan and the 127 Medinos, the provinces of Akashverosh. But we wake up to the stark, cold reality of one individual, one Amaleki, who wants to destroy the entire nation. He wrote some of his will that we don't have to face that battle against Amalek, that if we encounter Amalek, we will do everything that we possibly can to blot out his memory. The memory of a human being who seems to be Telemelokim, but really, in fact, is a human being that is really a beast, a beast that looks like man. And we will obliterate that until the seed of God and his dominion of the world will be complete. Yad al Ka will have that beautiful Geula Shlema that Purim is all about. In the of your menu, a main tenure at Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful Purim.